Finally, the red berries. That's individuality for ya. Individuality is discovering who you're meant to be so that you can make a difference. Here's something that I've discovered about myself. I'm actually an expert at making candy combinations. For instance, everybody knows that chocolate and peanut butter go really well together. But did you know that sour gummy worms and red starbursts go well together? They just give the sour and the sweet. Here, watch this. First, we start with the sour jelly beans. We all know that too much sour can be a bad thing. So to even it out, we get some chocolate kisses I know what you're thinking what are you doing that's terrible but just wait it gets better and then oh, I know we add the red berries because we all know that red berries get stuck in your teeth so you'll be able to taste it for like an hour you see how I used my gift to help me now I have all of these candy bags that I can eat for weeks to come. Or maybe just a couple days. So much candy! So, so, so much candy! I wonder if there's a better way for me to use my gifts. One that won't make me sick or cost me a fortune at the dentist. You know, Today's story is about a girl named Lydia, and we're going to learn how she used her gifts to help other people. So, so, so much candy. I'll see you later. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 16, verses 13 through 15. Lydia of Thyatira was a remarkable woman. Her city was known for its craftsmen, especially those who made and sold expensive purple dye. Take a look. I use only the finest snail shells. Though most successful people in business were men, Lydia learned the craft of purple dye. And when she traveled to the Roman city of Philippi, she set up a business selling rare, expensive purple cloth. Please note, we have lilac, plum, iris, lavender, and grape fabric laid out. And over here, you'll find amethyst, eggplant, and orchid. Lydia had likely been raised to believe in many false gods, but in her heart, she knew there was something more. The Jewish people believe in just one God. What if they're right? The city of Philippi had laws against bringing any unknown religion into the city. 
but Lydia would meet outside the city gates on the riverbank with a group of women who believed in the one true God. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength. Lydia and the other women had never heard of Jesus, but as they began to seek God together, God sent a vision to someone else, the apostle Paul, who was staying in the Greek city of Troas. Dream. It was so vivid. I saw a man standing right here begging me. He said, come over to Macedonia, help us. Immediately, Paul and his friends set sail. Within a few days, they reached land and traveled to Philippi, one of the most important cities in Macedonia. So we just start by finding a synagogue of Jewish believers, right? I don't think there is a synagogue here. On the Sabbath, a day of worship, Paul and his friends went down to the river, hoping to find a place of prayer. Shall we gather at the river? Um, excuse me. Hi there. Do you wish to join us? We're praying to the one true God. Absolutely. There, by the river, Paul told the story of Jesus and how anyone who chose to follow Jesus could have a relationship with God that lasts forever. But this is amazing. This changes everything. The Lord opened Lydia's heart to believe every word of Paul's message. I wish to be baptized at once. Not only was Lydia baptized, but she immediately shared the good news with her family and everyone who lived and worked in her home. And they too were baptized. Lydia gathered Paul and his friends. Do you consider me a believer in the Lord? If you do, come and stay at my house. We would be honored. As a successful businesswoman, Lydia's house was likely large and beautiful. We must meet here from now on. Lydia did not hesitate to give everything she had to the believers in the brand new church. And when Paul and Silas were later thrown in prison and then released, they immediately returned to Lydia's home to rest and prepare before they left the city. You must be brave. Of course we will. Don't forget to write. Later, Paul did write a letter to Lydia and others in the church of Philippi. And he remembered his time spent in Lydia's home and the church there with great joy. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. I'm happy because you have joined me in spreading the good news. God began a good work in you, and I am sure that he will carry it on until it is completed. In everything she did, Lydia continued to use her gifts to help others. Okay. So everybody has a gift. A gift is something that you're really good at. And maybe it's not super flashy, like singing. Awesome in the. Maybe you're good at swimming or baking or finding things that are lost or talking really, 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 really fast or making people laugh or identifying different types of birds. Uh. It's a blue-throated macaw. Lydia's gift was business. She could sell things to people that they wanted, like purple cloth. You have a gift, whether you know it or not. But what's more important is how you use them. Lydia used her gift to make money, so she had a place for Paul and his friends to stay. She used her gift to help people. Jesus was constantly teaching people and loving people and healing people. He used his gifts to help others too. And that's what we should be doing. We shouldn't just use our gifts to help ourselves and our own needs. We should use our gifts to help other people. God gave us our gifts and we should cherish them. We should cherish them and use them to help other people. We should share our gifts. You know what? That's our bottom line today. Use your gifts to help others. I think I want to share these candy bags with other people. And not only that, I think that I can use my gift to help others find their favorite candy combination. Maybe I can use my gift to make money like Lydia. 
This idea is making my head spin. I'll see you next time. Now, what candy goes well with chicken sticks?